So over the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting with Stock Solo. It's a free download. It's a, an add-on from the Exchange website. So if you're a Creative Cloud user, it will install automatically. Here inside of InDesign, when you open it up from Window and Extensions, essentially it's a panel that will give you access to the top three free stock sites, Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay. Now you can choose to turn on and off which of those sites it searches for images on, but with a simple keyword search, it will bring up images from all three of those websites. Um, you can then browse over the images. It tells you the pixel width and height and then where it comes from, say like Unsplash or the user that uploaded that to give away free. But when you decide the one that you want to use, when you click on place, it will actually give you the ability to save it to a folder of your choosing. Then when you hover your cursor outside the panel, it's loaded up ready in place mode to drop in and use in your layouts. It also resizes pretty much like any other panel you'll find inside of InDesign. Um, it's really good at collapsing. You can also minimize it down to icon mode and dock it. So again, this is going to be one of those panels that's quite big on screen. So they built to, to dock it and minimize it and then turn it to button mode and then browse and use it when you need it is really handy as well. And it pretty much works exactly the same way inside of Adobe Illustrator perform a keyword search, you'll get a grid of image results, and then you can choose where to save that image. The only difference being is that when you pick an image to download, it drops into Illustrator automatically without the option of where to place it and at what size in the cursor. Again, the appearance and the way the panel works for the most part is similar in Photoshop, but there is one distinct difference. You'll have to have a document open inside of Photoshop to be able to download and place the artwork. That's how it works. So here I opened up an A4 file and then when it does download the artwork, it puts it into the active document in a brand new layer, not as a smart object. So that's just something to bear in mind. But yeah, overall, it's got the thumbs up from me and it's a handy free resource and it's nice that you can search those three popular stock sites for images and particularly using applications like InDesign, saving it to a location rather than embedding the artwork into InDesign is a big plus.